so I posted this poll about this video idea I had and wondered if you guys would be interested in it. Not many people have voted, but seeing that yes had three votes, I got super excited and went ahead and started drawing. If this video of me redrawing some of my old art isn't something you're interested in, that's fine. But without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. So if you're sticking around, I hope you enjoy. The first one of my older characters that I'm redrawing is someone that I named Jamie Sauer. I was just getting into art in 2020 and it really isn't the best drawing I've ever made. I was going for like a grape kind of look to her. So she has like purple hair for the purple grape and has green streaks in her hair for the green grape. I really try to make it seem that she had like a super sour personality, but I don't think I conveyed that very well with the drawing. Honestly, none of my old drawings really had any personality or interesting body language to them, so I really wanted to change that. I remember her being inspired by like some Strawberry Shortcake character because I was still really into Strawberry Shortcake and like My Little Pony, and admittedly I still kinda am, but anyway, I wanted to make her look like this one character whose name is like Sour or something. She had this sister named Sweet, so they were like sweet and sour, you know? And I wanted to make it look like her, but not exactly like her. And I always did imagine her being a lot nicer than Sour, because admittedly, I didn't really like Sour a whole lot. She was just kind of too mean, and it didn't really fit in with the whole Strawberry Shortcake character thing. But I'm not gonna get into that. This isn't a Strawberry Shortcake video. So while I did want uh, Jamie Sour's whole personality to definitely be sour, I still wanted her to be kind of just like bored and disinterested in everything. She doesn't really like talking to people a whole lot and she's definitely an introvert. As for the old design, it is definitely like really boring. I couldn't really draw her hair that well, like the way I was envisioning it. And even now I still kind of struggle to draw hair sometimes. But not as bad as I used to. I do like the whole idea of her having like green and purple like hair, but I don't like the way I randomly just put the green in her hair. I also just could not draw clothes at all, so I just tried to refrain from drawing as much as the clothes as possible and just put her in this plain purple shirt that was very boring. At first I had the idea for like this new drawing to put a green grape on her purple shirt, but I just kind of didn't like how it turned out looking because I tried and it just looked out of place. So I decided not to do that in the end. Most of my drawings from around this time were just upper body parts of the characters because I did not like drawing legs. The characters were always too tall or too short or their legs just did not look right. They looked like spider legs or noodle legs. That was it. I called them noodle legs. In one of my older drawings, like all of them always had noodly arms and noodly legs and they looked awful. So eventually I was just like, I'm not even going to bother drawing legs and arms. I'm just going to do upper body parts of the characters. Problem solved. But I eventually got the hang of it, thank goodness. One thing I will say that I still struggle with today is drawing shoes. I cannot draw shoes for some reason. I still haven't figured it out. I don't know what it is about drawing shoes on my characters, but I just can't do it. I always leave that as the last thing to do because I hate doing it so much. I know I should probably practice, and I always do whenever I'm drawing these characters, but it's still hard and I still need to figure it out. Anyway, I figured giving her some cat eyes and freckles would be a kind of a cute addition to her character design. Also, I figured out what to do with the green streaks in her hair. At first, I was gonna leave it out, but I didn't think it would look much like the original, and I wanted to make it as close to the original as possible, so I did add end up putting in the green streaks. Overall, I really like this redesign. I think it's really cute and it's pretty good. Here they are side by side. Next, I am redrawing this character that I named Gail. I nicknamed her Noodle Arms Gail because as I was explaining earlier, they all kind of looked like they had noodle arms and noodle legs, so I nicknamed her that. Also, it's very fitting because she has spaghetti hair. Gail was really hard to draw because unlike Jamie Sauer, I didn't really have a personality for her planned out in my head. And the reason for that is whenever I drew her, I was super into Animal Crossing and I wanted to make her look like my Animal Crossing avatar. And at the time, that's kind of what my Animal Crossing avatar looked like. So I didn't really have much for her. At first, I thought she'd have a really happy-go-lucky personality. She's just happy about everything. The more I looked at her and her squiggly little arms, the more I thought, you know what? She kind of looks like an airhead. So that is her personality. She is an airhead. She takes dumb blonde to a whole other level. So finally, I could start drawing her. Again, her hair was not the best. It looked like spaghetti. 
so I changed it to be really messy. She doesn't really care about taking care of her hair and making it look good. It's just messy and it's a frizzy mess. Also with the old drawing, her eyelashes were crazy. I don't know what was going on with those eyelashes, but they were insane. So with this drawing, I really wanted to fix that. Also, also, her old shoes were awful. They looked gross. The green color I picked for them was disgusting. I don't even know how to describe her shoes. The way that they were just on her feet, it looks like someone glued them to her feet or something. So this time I wanted to make the shoes look better even though I still struggle to draw them as I previously mentioned. For her dress, I gave like a little ruffle at the end because I thought it would make it look more interesting because her old dress just looks not very interesting at all and I don't know what I was really going for it. I know it was meant to look like one in Animal Crossing but I don't think any Animal Crossing dress looks that bad. The butterfly in her hair, I'm not sure if it was meant to be like a hair clip or an actual butterfly, but for this it's just a cute little hair clip she has in her hair. The dress in this drawing still looks kind of iffy and if I could go back and fix it I would. But overall, I do like how the drawing in ended up coming out. Most especially with the face I gave her. And the eyelashes are much better than those razor eyelashes I gave her before. With this redesign, I wanted to add a little bit more detail to her as well. None of them had much detail, which is why all my old characters ended up looking the same. But like Jamie Sauer, I did want to put some freckles on her, but I did put a lot more on her than I did with Jamie Sauer. I try to give her softer features because all my old characters had soft features, but now I kind of have sharper features for my new characters. I do like how this turned out, and this is the new and old picture side by side. The last character I am redrawing for this video is one that I named Genevieve. I really love the name Genevieve for some reason, so I just gave her that name. As for her old design, you can tell that my art did improve a bit. She doesn't really have long, noodly arms and legs, so it doesn't look like she has any bones. Her arm kind of looks like Harry Potter's after Professor Lockhart accidentally removes his bones. In the old drawing, her head is also way too big. I've always liked giving my characters bigger heads because I think it looks cute, in, just in my opinion, but in the old picture, her head is still way too big, even for me. Also, her eyebrows. They're so sharp. I don't know what was going on with those. It's like how Gail had really sharp eyelashes. Genevieve just has really sharp eyebrows. As for her personality I was trying to convey when drawing her for the first time, I think she was just kind of supposed to be a mean girl. She's super judgmental of everyone. I kind of gave her a cat theme because I thought that would make it make more sense because I've had cats before and the way they just stare at you, it's like they're judging you and I wanted to put that into her design. For this new one, I did really struggle with her hair color though. I didn't know what I wanted it to be. Since I didn't color her old design, I really didn't know what colors to use for this redesign. When looking at her old design, it looked like I was trying to go for like a sailor girl outfit. So I just went with blue and kind of like a yellowish white. As for the little cat ribbon thing in her hair, I'm not really sure what it was meant to be. I guess another hair clip, I have no idea. But I wanted to make it look more interesting, so I added some ribbons and frill to it. Also, to really hone in on the kind of cat, judgy look to her, I gave her really piercing yellow eyes. At first, I didn't like how this redesign was going, but now that it's finished, I actually did end up liking it a lot. If there's one thing I don't like, it's definitely the shoes. Here's the new and old picture side by side. If I were to rate these, I think Jamie is the best, Genevieve is in second place, and Gail's in third. Thank you for watching and let me know who's your favorite in the comments below.